Hey guys, how's it going? This is Evan from EvanMods.com, and we are playing some Capture the Flag, bringing out a little bit of surprise there. Usually I'm into Team Deathmatch and all that, but, yep, CTF going on here, and I'm going to show you how to do, uh, do well, you know, kill death ratio wise, and still end up playing the objective. I think I got three captures and two returns, and I went 17 and 2. So it's not like I got a crazy high score, like 40 kills and, you know, five deaths or, you know, no deaths. Um, but still, a 14, or not a 14, uh, but I don't know, a really high kill death ratio like that, you know, <laughs> that's, that's fine by me. And I also did the best on my team overall with, like, captures and all that, so I was really helping out in all aspects, um, both defense and offense. Now, this is going to be more of strategy related, so I'm going to talk you through it. And, um, anyway, I'm using the AK here. I don't think it's AK-74. Yep, I'm just using the uh, 74. So, anyway, here we go. I see these dudes running, <laughs> three of them going towards our flag. So, got to go ahead and get that and get our first score of the match. And, uh, one thing I do want to point out is me and the other dude, White Tiger, that I pointed out in my last video, we are actually going at it in this one, trying to beat each other out, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's got the flag now, so I'm actually trying to make him lose it, because... Ah, uh, yes. Some friendly competition. Believe me, we were, we were having fun. We were both, like, joking back and forth. He was definitely not wanting me to get any points, and I wasn't wanting him to. So, all in good fun. Um, <laughs> but, but, you know, it makes you want to do better. Competition is the great advancement to doing better. You know, because you always want to outdo them in every aspect, so I was always trying to capture the flag more, and I don't know what I'm doing now. I might be getting a drink or something. Uh, I'm not just going to be camping looking at the wall like that. But we're both trying to really play the objective and just overall get more points. But uh, I'm, I'm calling in this care package because it will definitely help out if it's like a sentry gun to watch our flag. That's one thing that you may want to consider using, either that or uh, napalm, which you can use both since it's 6 and 5. So I've got a sentry gun and a care package here. And ooh, helicopter, that'll help out. But anything to place that can watch your flag will definitely be, be a big benefit to your team. Um, a sentry gun more so than a napalm strike since it does hang around longer and uh, they can knife it though so you have to watch out. Um, a napalm is a surefire way to keep them off. Sure fire, uh -huh. excuse the pun. Um, but yeah, the, the fire from it will stay there for a while and you know you run in it you're gonna die pretty much unless you go through it very quickly. Um, you know sentry gun you can use ghost pro I think it is or whatever you need to avoid them. Um, but a lot of people don't really use that in Capture the Flag. So I, I feel that sentry guns are probably more effective and they actually do really help out because most people just try to <laughs> end up running towards them anyway and it'll definitely watch uh, one of the directions to the flag. So the next thing is lightweight. I'm using lightweight and marathon here partly because I'm trying to get the challenges to get marathon and lightweight pro and uh, partly because it really helps out in this game type. It'll allow you to get quickly from one end of the map to the other and uh, you know with minimal just downtime. And you can also quickly run back if you have already captured the flag back to yours to get that extra point. So right now I don't know what I'm doing. I probably should have sped this up. I don't know why I'm just sitting still. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not quite sure what's going on there but Okay, I'm back now, and right now I am 9 and 1, I think. I think I saw that as a score. Not quite sure, I might have been reading that wrong. But we're doing really well, and I haven't used my sentry gun yet. So, I don't, I, I'm saving that for something, not quite sure, since I did record this gameplay a while ago. But you can see the route I'm running, because a lot of people don't run this way. And if you can hear that, White Tiger is getting mad at me because he was wanting to get to the flag first. But I'm taking this, and I'm just running. I get shot, but I'm going. He can handle them, and hopefully take them out. Um, but no, I'm just trying to go back and get that point. Because uh, it's it's a pretty easy win. The other team wasn't really doing much. Um, they did get the flag a couple of times, but compared, uh, we were doing very well. So anyway, I quickly saw this guy trying to sneakily go over to our flag, and uh, luckily I did catch a little glimpse of his name. So we're calling the sentry gun now, and usually I just like run straight away from these, but... <laughs> Here's the, the team trying to move right into our spawn and get these. And one more thing, like you just saw, is the um, UAV that I have. That'll help out letting you know if any other enemies are coming towards your flag or where they are as you are running towards theirs. So, that's one more thing you want to use. And yes, you can uh, switch out like care package with a, with a Blackbird or something if you plan on getting that high up in kill streaks. But I was more focused on quick kill streaks from dying since usually in this type of objective game mode, 
I mainly focus just on doing that objective, so I don't really focus too much on dying. You know, if I see somebody, I'll try to kill them, because obviously it'll help in defense. But I'm usually just going straight for that flag and not focus so much on being sneaky and all that. So I use somewhat low kill streaks in uh, an effort to get them a lot, get more points, and uh, help with the team more overall instead of that one eight kill streak where I have to be a little bit more stealthy and careful. Uh, I can get lots of UAVs. But I only died twice this game, so you know it didn't help out but so much. Um, but you know it was still a definite benefit. So when we move into their spawn like this, you want to be a little bit and just like keep your eyes peeled for anybody that's sitting in corners watching the flag. And uh, you see me coming back up here and shoot him because I knew he was going to be right behind me. If I had continued running, he would have just shot me in the back. So when uh, you're going up the stairs like that, it's a lot harder for them to hit you since they can only see the very top of your head and you can see their own whole body. So here we go. We've got, <laughs> we've got, <the laughs> we got the flag now, and he's yelling at me because it's the last flag. But I saw that RC car coming at me, and uh, <laughs> I yelled "car" at the end of the match, and he didn't get what I meant. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. <laughs> uh, if you could hear him right then. But oh well, guys, that's about it. Hopefully, you like this gameplay. I focused a little bit more on the gameplay itself instead of talking about my own stuff. Uh, but if you would, please go down there and rate the video. There's my Lightweight Pro. And uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.